What's up, dudes? Waiting on my car to warm up. <sighs> it's cold. Um, just want to do a quick intro to the leg day video that I'm about to edit right now. Um, three things that might help us understand. Right there's. Oh, hold on. The way that my um, training is going, like I've talked to y'all about, it's based off of RPE, right? So rate of perceived exertion. Um, each exercise that I do uh, has like a first set RPE, um, a rep range, and then an RPE stop point, right? So yesterday, um, what I what I filmed for you guys that you're about to watch was a lower body heavy day. It's my shortest day of exercise. Like I only have three exercises. So not shortest in time because they're big heavy exercises, but um, anywho, so for example, the first thing you're gonna see is squats. I did squats, deads, and standing calf raises, okay? Squats. Um, I was assigned my first set RPE of 8.5 out of 10. My rep range was three to five reps. And then my RPE stop point was a nine out of 10. So what that means is, um, what I, I did 185 was my first set to an RPE of 8.5. Okay. So 8.5 out of 10 indicating you have maybe a couple reps in the tank before fatigue, a uh, nine out of 10, meaning you could do like one more before being like completely done, you know, um, that's so you can have, from what I understand, the whole point of this is you can have good days and bad days but you're still getting in a pretty good amounts of volume based on what your body is ready to do that day, okay? So yesterday, uh, my first set, I got my first set of three to five, somewhere in there, I hit. I felt like I hit about an 8.5 out of 10 with a weight of 185. So from there, my drop back point was 3%. Sometimes it's three, seven, five, or 10, depending on, but this particular exercise, it was 3%. So, if I take 3% away from 185, it was somewhere between like 178 and 179, if I remember correctly. So I just went with 175, uh, because it is my first cycle and like it's not gonna kill anything. So I drop back my 3%, and then what I do is I do sets of three to five reps at 175 until I hit my RPE stop point of nine. So, what I did was I think five more sets of 175 and then that somewhere in that fifth set in my three to five rep range, I felt like I was at a nine out of 10. So then I was done with the exercise for the day. So recap, uh, my first set RPE was an 8.5 out of 10. I hit that with a weight of 185. I was instructed to drop back 3%. I actually went just a tad higher than that, um, to 175, right? I did that at three to five reps also for as many sets as I could till I hit my RPE stop point of a nine out of 10, somewhere within that three to five rep range, which was another five sets. Here's me working out. I hope that helped clear things up and didn't further confuse anybody, but, um, let's check it out. Okay, here we go, starting with squats. Um, like I said at the beginning, my goal here was a rep range of three to five. My first set RPE I'm aiming for is an 8.5 out of 10, which means I have about two reps left in the tank, is the verbiage used. Um, right there, that's 185. I feel like I'm leaning forward a little bit too much. Like at the halfway point right there, I feel like you see my back break a little bit. Um, but there's three at 185, then I'm supposed to drop back 3% off of that, which mathematically is like 179.45. I went with 175 because I felt like I might have been above an 8.5, maybe around a 9. Um, so yeah, I went to 175 like you're watching here. Um, also doing sets of 3 to 5 reps. And my form I feel is way better, like that 10 pounds made a huge difference. And I ended up doing five more sets at that and then stopping, which is when I felt like I hit my RPE stop point of nine out of 10. Here we go on to deadlifts. Um, my rep range here was four to five reps. My first set RPE is also 8.5 again out of 10, which is what I'm starting with here. This is 185 again. 
um, I think I do four reps here, but my drop back percentage off of this exercise was 7%. So if I calculate that out, it's 172.05, but I went ahead and went down to 170. Um, again, this is my first time through this cycle, so I was kind of reluctant to film at the beginning, but I feel like I'm getting a little bit more used to it. So here's 170. I did two sets because if you look at my form right there, I'm not very wide. Um, and I'm trying to do a sumo. Like, I'm not really good at deadlift consistency <laughs> um, yet. Like, my form is very different from this set to the next, I feel like. See how much wider I am and how much lower I went? This is why filming yourself is like so important, y'all. <laughs> Cause it's, I can really see a huge difference there and I don't know which one is more correct. Um, I ended up doing, um, yeah, two more sets till I felt like I hit a nine out of 10 on my RP. And then the last exercise that I did was standing calf raises. My rep range was 8 to 10. Uh, this has an RPE first set of 9. So I did that at 150 pounds. And then I was supposed to drop down 10%, which was an easy calculation. Uh, drop 15 pounds. Um, so I did my last sets at a weight of 135 and I ended up doing how many did I do? I think four more sets or five more sets um, before hitting my fatigue stop point of a 10 here so I, I filmed this last set all the way out because when I get to the end rep range I'm actually hitting a 10 out of 10 like I couldn't do any more full extended ankles it's see me struggling a little bit so that was a lower body heavy day. Some days I go up to seven exercises, but today it was only three. Thanks for watching.